St. Cuthbert, Bishop of Lindisfarne, 687, Britannia. While St. Cuthbert was provost, first, of Melrose, and then of Lindisfarne, he not only afforded to the monks a beautiful example of the monastic life, and admirable exhortations to the same, but would also go out of the monastery and preach to the people round about. Such was his skill in teaching, such the persuasive power of his tenderness, such the light of his face, as it had been the face of an angel, that all came to him, and openly confessed their deeds, and then by fruits meet for repentance, repaired their former iniquities. It was afterward, that, while he was living as an hermit in the Isle of Farne, he was chosen Bishop of Lindisfarne. In this office he helped by unceasing prayer the people to him committed, and taught them an instructions full of soul-saving doctrine. And he did that which is the main help of a teacher whatsoever he bade others do, he did first himself. He loved warmly, he was long-suffering and lowly, he was constant and instant in prayer. He was very courteous to all men. He thought it better than prayer to go and help a sick brother. But when he had been bishop two years, he went back to Farn Island, to make himself readier to meet death. When saith the priest Herifred, who was present, he was come very near to death, he gave some words of exhortation concerning peace and lowly mindedness, short but sharp. And then passed the rest of the day quietly waiting for the blessedness which was coming. When night came, he still continued in prayer, without sleeping. At the usual hour for the night prayer, he received from me the life-giving sacraments, and provisioned himself for his departure by taking the body and blood of the Lord. Then he turned his eyes heavenward, and stretched up his hands, and so breathed forth, to rejoice forever in the kingdom of heaven, a soul whose whole bent was already gone home to the praise-giving above. He fell asleep upon the twenty day of March, in the year of salvation 687. O Ramus! O God, who, through the priceless gift of thy grace, dost make thine holy ones glorious! mercifully grant that the prayers of thy blessed confessor and bishop Cuthbert may help us worthily there to attain, where are the spirits of just men made perfect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.